Here is, I have some ammonium chloride, and this is the same compound you can find in salty licorice, and this is the salty stuff on licorice. It's actually an acid, a weak acid. I'm just gonna dump it in here. And then I'm gonna add some water to it to dissolve it in water. Okay, was that much fun? No, not really. Okay, let's do something else. First of all, here I have some regular water. How do I know that? Well, let's use my indicator. It will tell me if it's an acid or a base or something neutral. So, if I have water here, what do I expect for a color? Green. 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 Perfect. Sure, it's green. I have water. Or it's at least one indication to that I have water. Uh, now, here I have something else. KOH. It's a very strong base. I'm going to add that base to this acid and we're going to have a very fast reaction going on. And as you see here, I have connected a glass wire here, so you will have some gas forming in this reaction. And this is very fast, so bear with me and check this out very shortly. Check the bubbling here. Can you see it? Yes, check. No, it's going back. It's sucking up the stuff. Yeah, how does this work? <laughs> no, I'm not going to drink it. But we will explain exactly what's going on here. So, this potassium hydroxide reacted with the sodium, um, sorry, the ammonium chloride. It formed ammonia. Can anyone tell me where can I find ammonia? Ammonia gas, that's what's bubbled over there. Uh huh. I was gonna say dirt, like uh, mud. In mud? I don't really know if you can find ammonia there. You can find it in Windex. Have anyone smelled Windex? Yes. Yes, that's the smell of ammonia, and if I open this up, I will smell that ammonia. So, we formed gaseous ammonia. It bumped over here into this one. It changed color to purple. This tells us ammonia is a base, okay? Why did this go back then? Yes, we had still some gas here, and that is very reactive with water, so when all of this, or not all of it, but when the majority of the ammonia got, uh, went over here, uh, some of it reacted with water, and that reduced the pressure in here, so it sucked back some of the solution in here. That's pretty neat. And ammonia is, we do this because we want to illustrate ammonia, and ammonia is very, very important. So you said before that you learned about the periodic table today, so, in the periodic table you can find nitrogen, that's very important for all of us in our bodies.